As soon as the music hit, I was standing back there really nervous, and to hear that roar immediately, I just felt, okay, th this is gonna be okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, that can mean only one thing. What an absolute sensation. He fed off that. He fed off the, the fans. Having them back, it just put a charge in Jungle Boy. You know, they were there chanting, singing throughout the whole match. You can feel the whole building shake under your feet right now. And to hear them with that kind of unwavering support just made me feel like, you know what, they believe I can do it. Why, why can't I do it? I can do it. AEW's hardest working grizzled veteran. Jungle Boy is a young gladiator. And when it came down to me and Christian at the very end, that was a big moment for me. Winning that at the end and to hear that was really one of the most special moments of my life. What an incredible victory for Jungle Boy, who will face Kenny Omega for the AEW World Championship. To hear that kind of reaction and to hear that that's how much people care. Good God Almighty, this place has come unglued. It, it felt really special. This kid's dreams are beginning to come true. When AEW began in 2019, Jungle Boy was looked at as one of the future prospects. Somebody that in three to five, maybe even 10 years, could be a world champion. When I first saw Jungle Boy, obviously one of the youngest and most talented uh, kids in AEW, I thought, man, this kid's got a long way to go. But he had some big matches, including a big match over Kenny Omega. In the beginning, I had the worst record in the entire company. And being the champion seemed like something that was so far away, kind of impossible. So over the past two years to have come this far and now be in a position where I could be the champion, it kind of shows me, and I hope it would show a lot of people, you can do whatever it is you want to do. And so now to, to have come all this way and to be wrestling Kenny Omega, widely regarded as the best wrestler in the world, and for the AEW championship, it, it's something I've been waiting a long time for. Kenny Omega, over the last few months, really, has become increasingly unhinged. I'm supposed to sell this match like Jungle Boy is supposed to be some kind of incredible challenger, someone who's the number one contender for the most protected, the most prestigious prize in all of professional wrestling. Kenny Omega's ego has blown up. Mr. Callis, who in the heck is better on this microphone than me? Nobody! You gosh darn right no one's better than me. He has become an egomaniac. Kenny Omega is an extremely intelligent wrestler, but he's also an extremely arrogant person. And I think Kenny Omega the person may be getting in the way of Kenny Omega the wrestler. I really don't think that Kenny Omega is underestimating Jungle Boy. I just think Kenny Omega's ego is so out of control right now that he just absolutely believes everything that Don Callis tells him. Kenny Omega is the greatest champion in professional wrestling. There's no way that Kenny Omega would know this, but he's actually been a very influential person in my life. I went to college for a year. That was a rough time for me because I felt like I didn't really know where my life was going. I didn't really know what I was doing with it. And I remember that year in my in my little dorm room, uh, watching wrestling clips on my phone, I discovered Kenny Omega. And immediately I, I felt this excitement that I hadn't felt from wrestling in a really long time. He's a, a big match player, no doubt about that. There's something wrong with him mentally. And no one knows how quickly he's deteriorating. But I think Jungle Boy has a very real chance of walking out of Saturday Night Dynamite as the AEW World Champion. I think Jungle Boy respects Kenny Omega, I really do. You've got to, he's the world champion. But I think what has happened over the past few weeks has served to open up the eyes of Jungle Boy to realize that it's gonna be much more than a title match. And he's got to battle much more than one man. Omega and the Young Bucks and Callis are highly concerned about Jungle Boy. Don Callis, if you go back to the match at Double and Nothing, Don Callis was there and really prevented Orange Cassidy from winning the world title. Then you've got the Young Bucks. Then you got the Good Brothers. Then you got Michael Nakazawa. 
and you think they're not going to do everything they can to keep the title around the waist of Kenny Omega? Of course they are. Probably going to be the toughest challenge of my life. But I have a lot of momentum coming into this, and I think if I play my cards right, I believe I can do it. What about athleticism? Youth and athleticism! The Casino Battle Royale at Double or Nothing, 20 other men thought Jungle Boy was an afterthought. And they found out the hard way that Jungle Boy is here in AEW. He's ready to win championships. And Saturday Night Dynamite could be his night. We could see a new AEW World Champion. I really think when it gets down to one on one, that Jungle Boy certainly can win this match. I kept moving forward and I kept getting better. And now I'm here with a chance to do it. And I, you know, I want to capture that moment. Enjoy this moment, Jungle Boy. Enjoy this moment, you earned it. When Dynamite airs on a Saturday night, there's something special in the air. Remember, the last time we were on Saturday, Mr. Brody Lee shocked the world and became TNT champion. Jungle Boy, he might be Mr. Saturday Night.